Boston Dynamics just has shown their new electric Atlas model and as the name suggests, it's now running with an electric motor and not with hydraulics anymore. Let's look at a brief video. Now, as you can see here, the robot is laying down. Now they've shown how he stands up, which is, well, a bit creepy for human standards, but it's pretty damn well designed when you think in terms of robotic, like you can just move all the separate elements uh, and turn and twist, which is pretty cool. Now, as the article states further down here, electric motors tend to be cheaper, quieter, lighter, and less complex than hydraulics, but may wear out faster and more easily, and not offer the same load bearing or strength capabilities of the former. But hydraulics seem, might seem to be preferred, but if they are too noisy or the fluid too difficult to deal with, e.g. prone to leaking or needing replenishment, they may stand in the way of practical commercial deployments. This is really the big thing of this article. With this robot, Boston Dynamics sets itself up to basically mass produce robots and have them ready for practical deployment. So will robots now take your job? Well, I don't think right now, but in the future there's definitely a possibility for that. Now, the future probably is still a few years off and a few years down the line, but they are setting everything up to go into this direction. As the article says here, the Electric Atlas is equipped to handle a variety of complex tasks across different industries. Among the first applications for the new Electric Atlas will be an automotive manufacturing for Hyundai, Boston Dynamics' parent company, which makes definitely a lot of sense. And of course, the article also states that this industry is not new to robots and that already a lot of robots are being deployed. Now, it's just there, it's just locally, and probably the production costs are still pretty high for these robots. But again, with the electric motor, it's easier to handle and it looks like Boston Dynamics is setting themselves up to, yeah, mass produce these robots for commercial applications. So is this going to destroy the entire job market? At one point, probably, likely even, probably not within a few years, but we'll see what comes down further along this decade. And I think, yeah, a huge shift is probably about to be incoming in one decade, two decades, who knows how long it's going to take, but you can see the writings on the wall. Another article has come out as well from Menti Robotics, which is another competitor with their new robot model. So let's have a look at that as well. Now the video has music, so I have muted it. I don't know if this is copyrighted or not, but she basically tells Menti, hey, walk to the table in the room. And then the robot, as you can see, has like there this internal representation of the room. Uh, I don't know if this is programmed into the robot or if the robot basically um, searches the environment and then makes its own internal representation. But as you can see, it is walking to the table. And now we don't need to see all of that, but yeah, when it's there standing in front of the table, she is telling the robot, hey, please put this into the, into the container and then put the container back there on the counter. Now, you can see how it's doing. It's, well, a bit slow and a bit clunky, but well, it works, right? It works and it does what it's supposed to be doing. So that's pretty cool. Now, as you can see, um, it will pick up the container in just a moment right here, right here, <laughs> and then walk with the container back to, to the kitchen side and then put it on the counter. Now, this looks a lot like what we have seen from OpenAI and also from Tesla, but a little bit clunkier. So if we go here, we all remember that, right? The robot from OpenAI. Right, the fingers are just a lot smoother and it works a lot faster. Now I think the open eye video has been speed up, so in reality it's a bit slower, but still this robot looks a lot smoother. Uh, and then also the robot from Tesla here, as we have seen, also with a lot smoother fingers and a lot smoother handling of goods, as you can see here with the X. This is very delicate movement, so this is pretty amazing. But what I think is pretty cool about this robot from Menti here 
is the the internal representation and how it's walking it's going to the table and it's also communicating with you and if we look further down in the article we see a few other things that make menti i think pretty unique so for example here rather than bringing ai into an existing in development humanoid the company is working to build a humanoid with ai at all layers of its operation so they basically don't put ai into a robot but they build a robot around ai which is Pretty interesting. So here is how the robot operates, which is pretty cool. First, it uses a transformer-based LLM to interpret commands and think of things through them. So you can also see that in the video, how she talks to the robot, then the robot stops, thinks for a few seconds, and then answers and does what it's supposed to be doing. Then next, using nerve-based algorithms, it builds a cognitive 3D map of the environment in real time complete with semantic information about objects and items, and localizes itself in the map while planning a dynamic path to avoid obstacles, which is pretty interesting. So it basically builds its own uh, representation. So that means in the video, it probably is, has been going through the room beforehand, has localized the table, and then the video starts where the woman tells the robot, hey, go to the table, because, well, it needs to localize the table first. Finally, it executes the planned steps on the planned path with a simulator to reality sim to real machine learning approach that defines the required locomotion in a simulated environment and adopts it in the real world with a j with a jide with jide <laughs> I don't know that word <laughs> anyway with jide and hand movements. So this is pretty damn interesting, and it really shows where the soul robotics is going to go in the future. I think we still should be very aware of what is coming down the line. Now, this may take years or even decades till these robots are ready for full commercial use in factories or other kinds of jobs, but we can see the writing on the wall. This definitely is about to happen, right? There's no way around this. This is coming. At one point, it will be there. And yes, robots might take your job, especially when they work together with a large language model or any other AI or AGI approach deployed in a robot, um, you can see quite crazy scenarios playing out in the future. But yeah, I'm excited to be here, live in this time, and I think you just need to embrace this and make the best out of it. You cannot fight it. It will come. Large language models, robots, a combination of that, other AGI approaches, for example, Hyperon, in a combination with a robot. We already see Hyperon combined with Sophia robot. So yeah, it's coming <laughs> and there's no way around it. So you better embrace it and use it for yourself. This is what I would say about this. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this video. Uh, and this is a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. See you over there.